It's the Daily Dog. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today. On the program today, my friends, we got a good one for you. It's music by Haken. I have enjoyed uh, just learning about this band. This was a band that I did not know uh, before I started doing the Daily Doug vlog, and I've seen them in concert. I've interviewed a few of the band members, and I get to see them in concert coming up when they're in America uh, later this year. But uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to share with you is a reaction that I filmed back in December of 2022 to their song 1985, which comes from Affinity. And I had heard the song before. I heard it live uh, when I saw them when they were in America last year. Uh, but I had never really sat down with headphones and uh, with a concerted effort really uh, paying attention to the analytics and the inner workings of the song. And so I am pleased to share my reaction to 1985 by Haken with you now. Affinity is Haken's fourth album. They released it back in 2016. And as I read in, <clears throat> it touches on several interrelated topics, including human evolution, the coming computer age, uh, the relationship between man and machine, human behavior, and, and a bunch more. And so when asked about the album's concept, uh, singer Ross Jen Jennings said that it's more like a soundtrack to a series of recurring themes than an actual uh, concept album. And so let's go back to the 80s, friends, with our friends from Haken. Uh, we've got Ross Jennings on vocals, Richard Henshaw on guitars, Charlie Griffiths on guitars, Connor Green on bass, Diego Tejeda on keyboards, and Raymond Hearn is on the drums. This is 1985 by Haken. Here we go. Does he? Always so rhythmic. It's been a while since I did something that was really, really tough to figure out the meter. And they are sending us back <laughs> through the interwebs uh, to uh, the big light that is the 1980s, I believe. There's an 80s cent. hearing E as the tonic, but I think it's subtonic, y'all. I think they're enough sharp to keep coming back to it. 
My first step was undertaken aimlessly. Yet I arrive as if I'm meant to be. Conceived by desire or compelled by certainty. Huh. So this is by design, by evolution, or created? Is it free will? Or not? There's always such a huge, just symphonic uh, movement and sound from these guys. Their footprint was, I think that was the word I was trying to think of, is just so sturdy and well-voiced, musically. Plus seven. Four, five, six. Four, five, six, seven. Sneaky guys. The mechanical sound of this is. Birth to death, I will be done. This has got a lot more information and layering in it than I gave it credit for. But it's taken. I mean, come on. That six, five, seven, one. Control in euphoria. That's radness, y'all. That looks like we're in an episode of Lost. This is this might be where they snuck in on Owner of a Lonely Heart. It's really remarkable how they're able to sound like a 21st century band and an 80s band at the exact same time. Their design shifting frame by frame. I think I know what they're talking about. I'll get to that when they're done. This is amazing.
starts again, y'all. the year 1985. That was an unbelievable, like, full band riff right there. <laughs> Righteous. Okay, and this is going to be what... Uh, era was referring to the ending credits so i am going to uh, stop that where it is well 1985 i was how old was i i was uh seven eight years old um dang um that's not how i remember 1985 <laughs> they are talking about let me see if i can figure this out um the chorus, their design shifting frame by frame, blur the lines, the cycle starts again. So um, I think they're talking about a frame shift and that um, is encompassed, I think, in the whole idea of, of creation versus evolution, of free will versus you know, not having free will and all that sort of stuff. I think it's when it's in like RNA or DNA, I can't remember but it's when uh, the information is not quite complete and uh, it sort of like shifts and reinterprets all of the data around it and it allows for mutation and evolution, something that's new. And I think what they're talking about here, especially in the 80s, break the code, find the formula, lose control and euphoria. Um, uh, the, I think the societal change has become so accelerated and almost palpable, you know, that sometimes we feel like we might not be in control of anything. So that's why I think they're talking about lose control, but uh, it's, it's moving ahead and we're just along for the ride, I think. You know, as I went back and I rewatched this uh, reaction, uh, one thing that I said uh, I thought was actually pretty good. <laughs> Occasionally I get it right, I think. There is a uniqueness to the way Haken can simultaneously sound like a current 21st century cutting edge band and also sound like a retro band, like a 1980s band. It's amazing to me how they put together the layerings of their sounds and how all uh, of the band members work together and form this cohesive unit. They're so intricate in their arrangements and in their um, performance. And it takes a lot of trust and synergy with uh, your band members to be able to work at that speed with that kind of precision. And uh, it's just a wonder to uh, watch them and to hear what they come up with. So wonderful stuff. 1985, a great song from Haken. Thanks y'all for being with me today. We'll see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.